Hello everyone, this is Ms. Sara Sufi from Medicare Clinic, Center of Developmental Disorders. Uh, we are specialized on treating um, children behaviors. Today, we are going to talk about a very important topic and it has a huge impact on children among um, school ages, which is bullying. I guess most of you knows already what's the meaning of bullying and what's, what is the definition, but I will give you a small uh, definition of bullying, which is um, when someone is being hurted either by um, words or actions, and we can call it um, negative behaviors directed by someone to another person um, to get uh, control and um, over that person. Unfortunately, bullying could be anywhere and with everyone. It can occur in your school, your uh, house, with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, with your neighborhood. It can be anywhere. And that's why we, we want to discuss the topic today to prevent ourselves from uh, being a bullied uh, people and uh, from uh, bullying another uh, person. There are three main uh, types or ways that people can bully. Verbal bullying is when you say bad words to another person or using um, negative words to the others. For example, saying to someone, you are fat, or saying to someone, uh, you are ugly. Um, using a uh, verbal um, uh, bullying and um, the other type is um, physical bullying and um, in this type we can see that the people using um, their bodies or touch uh, another uh, person to hurt them with slapping, uh, pushing them, uh, beating them uh, or we can include also damaging um, their tools or their um, things as uh, physical bullying and the last type is um, cyber bullying and uh, this is the most common um, type uh, we can see nowadays because as you know we are using technology in uh, our schools our um, to take our lectures so um, uh, this is a very easy way uh, to poly um, that's why it's very common nowadays I want to focus more on cyber uh, bullying and give an example of cyber bullying because as we as we said that it's the most common uh, way to poly for example sending I mean messages or um, a rude messages uh, through the direct messages uh, or posting a pictures of your friends posting a videos also of your friends uh, all of these are uh, cyber bullying and um, we can see now it's happening um, during the online uh, courses or online classes when for example someone is um, uh, saying a, a wrong answer for example the, uh, the, the others laughing at them or they making a joke at them so uh, that's what we call a cyber bullying. As we said, bullying is a very big problem and to solve the problem, we need first to know what are the causes. Why do people bully and why do kids uh, bully? Studies said that um, kids bully because sometimes they need attention. Um, so they want um, the teachers or the, um, um, the, uh, the friends in the school um, like look at them and uh, being attention for them, so they bully. And uh, sometimes they trying to hide their inner uh, problems. That's why they poly. Uh, so they want you to see them as uh, strong or as uh, someone with um, uh, a popular personality. But in the fact, no, they are very weak from inside. That's why they poly. And also, sometimes they copy the behavior from um, the others. Unfortunately, they copy it from their friends, their families, uh, so they already um, are victims of uh, bullying, that's why they uh, bully. As we mentioned in the beginning, uh, bullying has um, a very negative and a huge impact on children. Uh, we are here in Medicare also, uh, we saw a lot of cases uh, that have been affected um, because of bullying and there are, um, they have 
social phobias and they, they don't want to be with a group of people and um, they don't want to go out with their friends or they don't want to go to the school because of bullying. It's not an easy um, action or something to do. Um, and also bullying can cause injuries. If we talk about the physical uh, bullying, um, it can cause anxiety, depression, uh, lose of appetite, lose of sleep, bad grades in school, um, a lot of bad things actually. Uh, that's why we need to know more about bullying and the um, effects of bullying. The most important part of our video is how we can help to uh, stop bullying or to prevent ourselves from bullying. Um, the first type is um, speak up. Um, if, if you are a victim of bullying, just to speak in a calm and a clear, a clear voice. Uh, tell them that it's not cool. Um, talk to an adult, talk to your teacher, talk to your parents. Don't hide your feelings at all. It's okay, it's happening, it's happening to a lot of people. You are not the only one that being bullied, so just speak. Um, as I said, don't hide it in your, um, in your feeling. And my third advice for you to um, prevent yourself from uh, being a bullied kid is to be a confident kid. Um, just have a high uh, self-esteem about yourself, um, know your strength, uh, don't let the others tell you who you are because you know yourself. Um, they are telling you um, wrong things. It's not you. Just remember that. It's not you. You know yourself better than anyone else in the world. I hope you learned from our video and I hope you enjoy as well. Thank you so much for listening and I want to thank every kid and everyone who is already trying to stop bullying and always remember that being kind and being nice is easier than being mean. Thank you.